the incredible founders, Mr. Anton, um, Mr. Dion, Mr. Athens of blessed memory, Mr. Chimples, uh, Mr. Jaharis, um, all incredible visionaries along with our founder, His Eminence Archbishop Yakovos of blessed memory, who came together with this vision to create an endowment for the national ministries of the archdiocese, not imagining that today it would consist of close to 1,000 members and close to $100 million in an endowment. I think we're, the sky is the limit. Um, we are close to 1,000 members and we shall achieve that hopefully quick, quickly. And in the next 15 years, it would be my hope that we might achieve 1,500 members so that we can increase the endowment so that we can do more to help the ministries of the diocese in the advancement of orthodoxy. Initially, the funding and still is used for important national ministries, funding seminarians so that we may have qualified priests to then go out and minister to the thousands of souls. But more importantly, I think the organization is immortal and, and that is due to the vision of the pioneers, um, and I, no praise for them is sufficient. But in terms of adapting to the new world, we're doing that with our programming. As the, uh, the Archdiocese identifies missions that are now relevant in today's society, we have helped in some ministries in terms of digitalization, technology, which is going to become more and more relevant and is already becoming more and more relevant as the younger people and the new leaders emerge in our church. We've given close to $20 million to Holy Cross School of Theology, and the priests that have come out of that school one by one are outstanding men devoted to God, and we've heard Father Elias yesterday is one example. But our school attracts and is able to help qualified students become priests. It's, it's one example. We've given close to $10 million to fund the National Ministries of the Archdiocese, programs for family planning, programs for clergy. Uh, we've recently given a million dollars for the building of St. Nicholas National Shrine at Ground Zero. That will be built from ashes and will be a beacon of faith for generations to come. The, um, the vision of Archbishop Demetrius, who has been our leader for the past 15 years, which has really seen the major growth in the organization is remarkable. And his intellect and understanding of the needs is what guides us and what allows us to stay current and be confident that we're seeing um, the results that we want. The biggest misconception, I believe, is that it's an organization for just the rich, and it's not. It's an organization for those of us who share common values who share love of our church, who see orthodoxy and Hellenism as making us who we are as people and as Greek Orthodox Christians. So the misconception is that it is only for the wealthy and it's not, it's for the wealthy of heart. My favorite memory would be speaking with His Eminence Archbishop Yakovos about joining Leadership 100 and being inspired by his words um, I don't have one single memory because in truth, every moment of being connected with this organization and now in my role as chairman and having the good fortune of working with Paulette Poulos, our executive director, whose energy and devotion is simply inspirational, every moment of that is a special moment. And in truth, now working with His Eminence Archbishop Demetrius, who's spiritual guidance and love and, and um, simple piety is truly an inspiration. We have responded to humanitarian need um, as we would as, as a church um, and we have helped um, after Hurricane Katrina, uh, after 9-11, to the crises in Greece and in Cyprus Sometimes it's been through funds of the endowment. Sometimes it's been through individual members contributing to aid people in need. Um, that is part of our mission. It, it is to help our church, but by helping our church, it's helping people everywhere, 
we will always respond to crises and in whatever capacity that we can. I wish that we stay true to our mission to advance orthodoxy and by advancing orthodoxy, promoting Hellenism, attracting and continuing to keep the homogenia together in a common purpose and seeing the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese continue being as strong as it is today and stronger into the future as we become an important force in current society in the United States and all over the world. We are in excellent condition, both financially, we are transparent and we are accountable. We have an amazing board of directors phenomenal executive committee, and we have perhaps our biggest blessing is our executive director, Paula Poulos, and her incredibly dedicated staff.